We're live now. Rudy, Rudy, Rudy. getting the ball. Get the ball. I'm running on the ball. <laughs> Good evening everybody. Welcome to Cat, Chat, and Boxes at Blind Cat Rescue located in St. Paul's, North Carolina, U.S. of A. We're going to do some Q&A with you guys for about 10-12 minutes and we're going to open some boxes. So, what would you like to know about Blind Cat Rescue? I can tell you we're a lifetime care sanctuary located in St. Paul, <laughs> North Carolina. We do not adopt our cats out. They do have a forever home with us. When they pass away, we bring them home and we put them in Memorial Garden. We're open for visitors Monday through Saturday until 4 p.m. You come in the morning, be prepared to work. If you don't want to work, please wait till noon to come for afternoon. We've got Chile watching. And Norway. Wow, you guys are a long <laughs> way away. That'd be one heck of a commute to come visit. So thank you very much for watching in Chile and Norway. So what would you guys like to know? What else would you guys like to know? Please check out our raffle. It's on our webpage, blindcatrescue.com. We have lots of great prizes. One is a cat wheel. We've got climbers. We've got scratchers. We've got beds. We've got a TV. So make sure to go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. Check out our Facebook page. We have a contest we need you to vote every day. We need you to do the daily click. And the daily click is only two cents each, but for each one of you that click every day, that really adds up and it buys a lot of dry food for the cats. So we're very, very grateful for everybody that clicks. Again, you can find that on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash blindcatrescue. Oh, you can't see anything. No. Oh, they're just saying hi from where they're at right now. Hello, everybody. Yes, I have, I can see nada, nothing. So you guys are going to have to ask me what they're saying. Ask away. Ask Connie Wesseling, are you getting any of the flooding down there? Um, Connie, we are very blessed that we stay dry here, but about 10 miles south of us, they're pretty much underwater. There's parts of our town that still are completely underwater, uh, but we are very, very lucky that we had very minimal damage. We had some trees down and stuff, but, you know, nothing compared to what a lot of people were enduring. Uh, Tracy Humphrey Bailey says, don't forget to use the Rescue Walk. As she just said, you can download the Rescue <laughs> Walk app, and if you like to walk your dogs, jog, run, all that good stuff, use that, and it will keep track, and they pay for you to play. Everyone's informing us that the cliff is up to five cents this week. Is it awesome? See, I don't know how you guys figured that out because it doesn't say that to me. <laughs> I just click. So that's even better. I like that. That's cool. Any questions, guys? If you guys would like to find out more about the cats, you can go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. We do have a sponsorship program. Because we do not adopt, you can become a virtual parent to the cats. You can become a sponsor. It only costs a dollar a day. That's less than the cost of a cup of coffee. You get your name on their page, you get pictures, and you get updates every month. So go to our website, blindcatrescue.com, and click on the button up at the top that says, help us. Barbara Drew wants to know, is Stephanie okay? Because she hasn't seen her lately. She's fine. She was here earlier today. Um, Emily says, so sorry for your loss. How do you endure so much? Um, in Chile, Rescue Walk doesn't work. What no. else can we do? For you guys, you can do the click. I believe you can vote. You can share. Um, if you like to shop at Amazon, that doesn't look good for you in Chile. Um, <laughs> share, click, vote, or donate. <laughs> you can donate from Chile. You can go to our website, blindcatrescue.com, and click on any of the hearts, and you can donate. How can you want to be my friend? Lot if I you, because you are uh -huh. a long way away, you can. Um, Tracy asked if you could tell us about Bob's passing. Tracy, I'd really rather not do this on Facebook. Can you do this on Ustream with me, please? Mm -hmm. It just becomes a little too much. You know, there isn't a whole lot to tell you. You know, he, it was time. And I took him, Bet and I made the decision it was the right time, and we let him go. She'll do news at 6.30, guys. What else would you guys like to know?
Um, Jody was in the hospital all week, but she watched us every day and it kept her spirits up. You watched us from the hospital. First off, we hope you are doing better. <laughs> and two, that's really cool. It's cool to get that internet for them, too. <laughs> that, that's even cooler. Uh, so thank you very much for watching. We hope that you are feeling better. That's pretty cool. We were offline, you know, for five days, so that was really yucky. Um, Kim Northley wants to know more about the fresh debt points. Um, I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, Kim, if you use Fresh Step and you don't use the points, you put them in and then there's a button on their page that says click to donate. Excuse me. And you can donate them to us and when we have enough points, we order a pallet of, of uh, cat litter for the cats. And since we go through 60 boxes every single month, we obviously need a lot of litter. As a matter of fact, we do have a pallet that's supposed to be coming. Soon, but right now I don't want it because the ground's too wet, so we can't get the semi back here. But yeah, so far you guys have given us enough points over the time that we've been able to get three pallets for that free. Was Emily, ugly. That was ugly. Being ugly to cat. Swallowing today. You guys go to our website, blindcatrescue.com. You can find out a lot, lot more about our shelter. We're going to have. Um, do you guys realize it's almost Christmas? It's November 5th, or it's October 15th. It's almost Christmas. We'll have our virtual Christmas tree coming up. We're going to have our calendar coming up soon. I love the virtual tree so much. <laughs> I love I'm Christmas. I'm with our calendar. I was hoping <laughs> that we have the calendar by now. Uh, we'll have the calendar. It's just, you know, trying to get it done. They're working on it. They're working on it. It's not quite done. Um, Dave Bartlett says, ever think of doing tours to other states to educate people on cats? I don't understand what you mean. I don't, maybe go state this, I don't know. I don't understand. What, can you tell us more what do you mean, Dave? I mean, do you mean get into the vehicle and go to other shelters? They would really be pissed off. <laughs> um, to be really honest with you. You know, uh, people, don't, people don't want to be educated unless they choose to be educated. And you go to another shelter and say, well, this is what you should be doing. I guarantee you it's going to really irritate somebody. I know it would irritate me to death unless I asked you for your input and your help. So, unless the shelter asks me for their input and their help, I will keep my mouth shut because they haven't asked for the help. Um, Sarah Louise Mackey would like to know what the virtual tree is. It's wonderful. <laughs> it, 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 it's really kind of a cute idea. It's a virtual tree. So we have a big Christmas tree that we put on our webpage. And you make a donation, and you can decide if you want me to put lights on the tree or if you want me to put gift boxes, and then we post your message on there. The first message of the year is always mine to my daughter, so it's, you know, Merry Christmas, my darling daughter, Stephanie. And then everybody's messages, so you can put memorials, or you can put happy, you know, Merry Christmas to my family, or... And somebody you know, buys the topper. In memory of, of whatever. We have one topper, it's a $500, and it is gone within... Oh my gosh, it. so fast. It's always the same person. There's two of them, they fight every year. Too. So yeah, fast it goes. They're wonderful. The virtual tree is uh, awesome, though. Tree. Yeah, so it's a lot of fun. It's, it's a lot of fun. Then again, it's Christmas stuff, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so it's fun to watch the tree during during the Christmas season as it gets covered and all the messages that people have loved sent to each other and to, to the cats and to the staff and memories of, of cats that they have uh, lost and so forth. Very sweet. Um, Carol Little says, I hope that tonight's Black Cat Ball raises huge amounts of money. That would be awesome. Yes, we, we advertised it two weeks ago, and then we were without power for five days. So we have not advertised it since. But then you guys were, they were done, um, they were totally booked out for costumes. So I hope we helped. Um, Dave meant um, further explaining the illnesses and, <laughs> wow. Are we ticklish? The different things about the illnesses, which I don't know how you'd have enough time in the world. <laughs> I, uh, what illnesses would they like to know? I guess more about FIV and FELV. Um, yeah, that's too much. FELV, obviously, is leukemia. Um, we do have leukemia positive cats. Oh, he meant the tours, the state tours. Oh, the tours, state tours. Uh, you know, again, I think it's a great idea, but if, if they don't want... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if they wanted to help, we'd be happy to give it to them. But, you know, people don't want you sticking your nose into their business. And they tend to get mean and nasty and irate. <laughs> so. And they and they think if, if you're trying to explain to them how to help their animals, sometimes people get offended because they, they think and you're implying they're doing a bad job. 
So yeah, so no, I'm yeah. yeah. Um, Kim Jordan wants to know will there be a new Christmas ornament this year? I hope so. Yes. It's not gonna be a snipper. It's gonna be. It, there is one. Yes. I hope it'll be here soon. That one's actually been ordered. We're gonna have a new magnet too. If Joan gets to it, I hope. Suzanne I asked said, "Who beat me last year?" Huh? I guess the topper. Who she said, "Who you? beat me, Jill?" Lynn, no, Lynn. Lynn grabs it fast. Lynn and one of her uh, girlfriends grab it. Between her and the, her, one of her friends, those two get it every year. Every year. Let's see. You could do podcasts. That's easier. Podcasts, yeah, but you know what? I would get tired of listening to me. I, mean, I can't come up with enough things to sit here and talk to you guys about now. Podcasts is a great idea. But, you know, hey. I don't know when I have time. <laughs> Please check out our raffle, blanketrescue.com, on our website. That's our, one of our biggest fundraisers. Get your tickets, lots and lots of prizes. Depending on how many tickets you buy, the better chance you have to win more than one prize. I think somebody last year, she bought a thousand dollars worth of tickets, and I think she got seven prizes. <laughs> so, you got a good chance of winning something, you know. Roger Crawford just booked his hotel for Fayetteville, and he'll be June next year. Awesome. And how many cats do we have from Australia? How many cats do we have from Australia, or are you from Australia asking that question? Oh, that <laughs> might be it. There was no punctuation. How many cats do you have? From Australia, from Heidi. Yeah, we are not, yeah, we have no cats from Australia. Uh, I would have sat here like, none, I don't understand. 90, 89, 90, I'd have to look, I'm not real sure, somewhere around there, somewhere in between 88 and 90. Um, it's been a rough week, so the numbers changed constantly, I have no idea how many we got. Um, Kathy Machuk, with the storm, is there anything you need that ran low that we can help with? We always need food. You guys are so wonderful. You keep us so well supplied with everything that we don't typically ever get low on stuff. We always need food because food is used every single day. But no, um, you know, we were in great shape, and that's because of the kindness of all of you guys. Yes, Janice, candy can see. That's why she's a big old stink pot. Stink pot. <laughs> she's a spoiled brat. She's a wannabe. We, we call her a wannabe. She came to us from Animal Control. They told us she was blind. They also said she was mentally compromised. I asked them why did they think that, and they said, well, because she would leap off of climbers instead of backing down, which is what a blind cat would do. That's because she can see. <laughs> so the only one that was mentally compromised were the people who thought this cat was blind. It, oh, she actually has a small juvenile cataract. She can see just fine. Just like looking through dirty Miss glasses. On the, oh, no, that's Rudy. Uh -oh. oh, you need to leave her alone, mister. <laughs> no, 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 Sam. You need to leave her alone. She can get mad. Any more questions? Yeah, we're going to just boxes here. These boxes are gifts from wonderful people like you guys. If you like to shop through Amazon, please go through Smile Amazon and pick Blind Cat Rescue as your charity, and they do donate every single quarter. It totals to over $2,000 usually. So we're very, very grateful if you'll pick the cats as your Smile charity. The only thing wrong with that cat is she's a spoiled brat. Oh, that yeah, is really, it. Really spoiled, yeah. <laughs> okay, news. Um, gosh, I hate doing this on Facebook because it's so painful. Nacho passed away today. Suddenly, it was horrifying. He threw up, fell over, and started horrendous breathing. Staff got me immediately. We immediately got him in a crate and rushed him to the vet. By the time I got to the vet, he had urinated and defecated on himself and was had in agonal breathing. It was horrifying. Got to the vet, the vet listened to him. He said, his, you know, his, he's breaking down. I said, euthanize this cat because he's gasping. It was horrible. He was gasping. Um, so we immediately euthanized him. Um, we think he probably blew a clot. That's the only thing we can think of. Um, he's getting, been getting me crossy. But he was such a sweet, sweet cat. And he'd only been here for, you know, five, six weeks. The only consolation I have to this is that in the time that he got here, he knew, knew what it was like to have a soft bed and to have a warm belly, full of food, and he did not have to survive that hurricane living outside as a stray, which is how he was when he came to us. When he came to us, he had been starving. So 
you know, he knew kindness in the end, but it was just, it was just, and he got along with every cat in that room. Yeah, he, he just went. He had friends before he went. Yeah, I mean, he, he got along with everybody. He just fit in just, he was just a sweet, sweet cat. And hello to my brother. My brother's watching. Let him see you. Yeah, no, because he hasn't checked on me or called me since the hurricane. But anyway, moving on. He in North Carolina, South Carolina? He's in South Carolina. Well, maybe. Did you check on him? He's fine. He's well, the then, boy. Then he figured you're fine. No. You're girl. <laughs> he thought you posted on Facebook. But enough about my family business. You're still in trouble. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Some of this. Danny Cook. Danny Cook. Thank you very, very much for the food. Amazon does not often give us packing slips. When they do give us packing slips, sometimes they don't tell us who you are, and then sometimes they uh, don't they don't give us any contact information. Most of the time, as a matter of fact. So please don't be angry if I don't thank you, if I don't message you. Thank you, because they usually don't tell us how to contact you. What is with you guys? Really? <laughs> you can stop. So we do post it on Facebook. We do post it on our blog. So thank you very very much, Danny, for the food. Um, Ma, Maja, I want to know about Tori. Tori has pancreatitis. She is in the quarantine room with a feeding tube. And depending on what time you ask, she's doing better sometimes and not doing better at other times. Right now she's struggling with pancreatitis. Someone asked if cats with pancreatitis get pain meds. Yes. You betcha. They get good pain meds. Because it's very painful. They act like they're in pain, they get pain meds. Thank you, Mandy. Whoa, where are you going, honey? Did that help me? Well, I have no packing slip, but I have a whole bunch, there's four of these and two of these of food. Somebody sends a whole bunch of food, but Amazon's not telling who you are. We go through 120 cases. That's 120 of these every single month. Aaron No would like to know what pancreatitis is exactly. Pancreatitis is an inflammation of the pancreas, and it's extremely painful. And with cats, it's extremely painful, and they don't eat, and they lose weight. But as with humans, it's extremely painful, and you can die if it's not managed. We had a person come for a job interview once, and um, several months later, he died of pancreatitis. I remember so, that. Yeah. What's his name? Fred or something? Yeah, you got a job instead. I mean, uh, sorry, uh, yeah. how it went, yeah. how it went down, but yeah. So, yeah. Uh, but cats get it, and I don't know why. So please don't ask me that, because I have no clue. If I had a clue, we would do everything we could to stop it, because cats get it all the time. I don't know if it's because all the crap that goes in their food, you know, chemicals that the animals are fed before they go into the food, I don't know. But it's terrible. So we, we get cats to get it all the time, so it's awful. We have no name, but we have syringes. <laughs> we go through a lot of syringes, especially when you got cats with feeding tubes um, and medicines. So thank you whoever sent us the syringes. I don't know who you are because they didn't put your name on there. The feeding tube's great when you've got a sick cat like that because you're not having to force feed the cat. You can quickly feed the cat with feeding tube. And it's much less stressful for the cat, but a lot less stressful for you. It's saved many. What? It's saved many. Yeah. Uh, we have no name. We have packing oh, <laughs> Why? We have food. Thank you very, very much. You don't even like me, so I get the food. All I'm going to do is huh? Like Anna. Anna's telling over here. Um, you guys watch on Facebook. You really should watch us on Ustream also. We have five cameras, by the way, guys. We have me share cameras. So go to our website, flyingcatrescue.com. Click watch us, and you'll see there's lots of cameras. This room right now has got, you're watching us on Facebook. They're watching us on Ustream, and they're watching us on me share. <laughs> and they're watching us on Roku. So lots of ways to watch the cat fly, but... Fiona is telling why they're talking about she's in vet pet school. She says they think that it may be an autoimmune immune attack of the body on its own pancreas cells. That'd be kind of cool. Uh, Susan Davis wants to know if it's associated with diabetes at all. 
You know, it's so funny. You would think that, wouldn't you? But it doesn't appear to be. No. Stop. What the squirrel? Oh, my gosh. Um, it doesn't appear to. I would think the same thing. I would think that if the pancreas is doing that, you, it, you'd have a diabetic cat. But it's, I have not seen that to be the fact. Uh, Carol wants to know if you make a cash donation from the UK, can you get tax relief on it? Because I'm a UK taxpayer. Amber Cooper wants to know if there are going to be any more open houses. Yes, to the open house. Go back to the UK question. I have no idea how your tax system works, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. What an interesting question. I don't know. And yes, we have one more open house this year in November. Somebody sends a whole bunch of syringes. There's no packing stuff. There's no name. But thank you very, very much for the syringes. We can never, this is one of those things we can never have too many of because they're used every day. We don't have an autoplay. And these are only to be used once. We don't have a way to re-sterilize them. Um, Sarah Louise Matthew wants to know if Griffin can fit through the cat flap. Can do what? Griffin actually fit through the cat flap. <laughs> He's more tall than me. Let's see, what else did you say? There's two types of pancreas, controls insulin and, glu and glucose and digestive enzymes, and it's a secondary type that they get the weight loss, and anorexia, difficult to get, um, digesting food. So apparently, it's the digestive enzyme pancreatitis that they get. Uh, Paula Gabby says she doesn't like to chat on Ustream because Facebook gives her an option chat. You can chat on Ustream. Yeah. Well, That's maybe what not we, on your phone. Oh. Eric, Erica Davis wants to know if any of our cats are diabetic. Yes. Um, Greta is. Bob was also. If you're wanting to chat on Ustream, you'll have to do it on you know, like a desktop or laptop. I think you can do it also on the iPad. You can't do it on the phone. But there is a chat option, actually. Um, you're right, because when I check at night, I can't yeah. talk. Yeah. Um, Really smudge. Latham. Oh. Again, Chang Latham. I destroyed that name. I'm so sorry because you're so kind. You sent so many things. Thank you very, very much. Lots of food and dust masks, which is nice. We've got some uh, employees that are asthmatic, so this is for while they're scooping the litter boxes, so we don't have employees having asthma attacks. We've done that. Been there, done that. Had the, had the teacher. did it again, Linda. <laughs> Her autocorrect changed Mickey to Mackie, and then she said, it's supposed to be Mickey, and then it put Mackie again. <laughs> you gotta love autocorrect. Gosh knows what you type sometimes. I know my daughter gets weird messages from me. <laughs> what? Really? <laughs> Stephanie Vogt. V-O-G-T. Stephanie. V-O-G-T. Okay, here. Checking out the paper. The proof. You can't read, Pixie. Yeah, you can't read. Mm -hmm. You need glasses. <laughs> 70 bucks. Thank you, this one to take the paper. We have syringes. And we have masks. And more syringes. Yeah. And we have, would you like to tell them, Pixie? Food. Sergeant and Colonel are in room one in the other building. Yeah, you'll see them. We have two buildings. Um, you can see them on our reshare cameras right now. Go to our website, blindcatwebsite.com, and click watch us. They are in house two, room one. They're my brother's favorite or, because of the army thing. Oh. Well, or you can mm -hmm. watch them tomorrow on Ustream. We have two buildings, and they are in the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday building. So there's, five, there's seven rooms, four in this house, three in that one. Cameras in this building four days a week. It's over there three days a week. So this is the last day that you see this bunch of cats. You'll actually see the uh, them tomorrow. So yeah, tomorrow is Sunday, so you'll see them yep. tomorrow. That's cool. Again, from Latham. I apologize, not saying first name could not Who's in the uh, box? Oh, this there. is Rudy. Rudy! There he is. Show your face. People are asking who you are. Miss Latham, we have lots more food. Thank you so much. This is, you know, people ask, what do you need the most? This is the kind of stuff, the stuff we use every single day. Food, syringes, laundry soap, mm -hmm. dish soap, 
you know, the stuff that gets used, so you're always having to continually... A lot of cleaning going supply. on here. Do what? Yes. A lot of cleaning going on. Let's get this one. Mm-hmm. As y'all can see by Griffin. Good Lord. <laughs> He's so great. But he wags that tail like a dog. Huh? He wags that tail violently like a dog. <laughs> his former owner watches his shoes. She wants you to know he's really a nice cat. He just wants attention. <laughs> I have no idea who sent this, but I have a strong suspicion because there's no packing slip. I try to speak to him in I try to speak to him in French, but he pays me no mind. He just he just saw Polly Bouffant say. I was uh, wow, I was really cr- incorrect on this. <laughs> I'd like that risk enjoy your gifts. Give Kitty's hugs and loves from us. Love from Jean Duckets and Donna Wilborn Duckets in Columbia, Missouri. The show me state. Thank you so much for six cases of food. No one has bought this so heavy. Thank you so much for six six cases of food. It's awesome. It's awesome. A couple more boxes. Almost done. Um, the one on the top above her is Princess Lisa. Lisa, why aren't you getting down here, chick? <laughs> Yo, Lisa. Hey. Hey, come on, Lisa. Lisa. I love, I love the certain ones that are like, I can't be bothered. <laughs> Wish me out at me. You're bothering me. This is Miss Jewel. Kathy wants to know if you finished your chocolate yet. Uh, that's gone. <laughs> <laughs> These little vultures had it gone before 11 o'clock. <laughs> Staff likes chocolate. Betsy Snyder. Betsy Snyder's a watcher. Betsy, Miss Betsy. Wow. Betsy Snyder, thank you very, very much for the food. We appreciate it. There's a kitty on it right now. The wheel keeps moving. Candy's mama's not paying attention to her, so she's upset. Are the Biscoffs gone too? Oh. You know, I am still working on those. <laughs> I am still working on those. They're so rich, I can only handle about six, and six or eight at a time. So I put a whole bunch of them in the fridge. Thank you very, very much, Betsy, for the food. Yeah, I, I'll eat six or seven at a time. I have them in a, in a big plastic bag in the refrigerator. I think I'm down to the last package. I told my friend about them because I dropped her off at the airport yesterday and you said you discovered them on the airplane. Nine hundred pounds. Mm-hmm. So good. Okay, last box. We have no name, but we have brush tail. I'm so glad I'm not a possum, possum eating cat. That's what this is. It's, it's off New Zealand. I'm sorry, New Zealand brush tail. This is food for Stevie. So I'm wondering if this is for Christina Gangley. Uh, she said that all the time. Suzanne would like to let you know there are five more packs coming your way. <laughs> I'm in the freezer time until my belly is ready. <laughs> you guys, thank you very, very, very much for all the food and stuff. Chris, who's giving tour today? You know You're giving tour because I have to go to the other building really fast. Didn't your mother teach you to go before? I did. That was the problem. Was her. You're supposed to go first. Okay, you just stop a minute. I'll show you. You little brat. Peek-a-boo. Peek-a-boo. Yo. Hi. How you doing? You see that toy's in your way? Here, you got some more room? <laughs> hey, Lisa. Oh, Suzanne. You know chocolate's my favorite. I'm going to leave this mess. We're going to go to another room. Hi, Emily. Let's go see who we can find. Bunny. Bunny, bunny, trying to sleep. Big boo. Hi, bunny. How you doing? 
Thank you, Stephanie. But he says, I can't be bothered. We'll let her sleep. We'll let her sleep. Smudge, how did you sneak out, you little brat? How did you sneak out? Hi, Snick. How's it going? Snick, Dick. Hi. How you doing? Ooh. Ah, Smudgers. And your Snickers. Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodle. Look at that face. Look at that face. How can you not love that face? Hi, Chester. Look at you. Watch. Nah, I'm not coming down. <laughs> You'll get me. Hi, Pop. This is Poppy. No, he's not becoming a lobby cat, Deborah. He just ran the door. Funny, he's not moody. She was just busy sleeping. This is the pop pop. The little pop pop. Be careful, you're gonna spin yourself off there, honey. Poppy came to us from New York City with a little stray who is sick and covered with ringworm. And now you can see she's pretty fat and sassy. What? Pester. What? What? <laughs> I'm not coming down there where you can jump in my back. It's not happening, dude. Hi, honey. Hi, Felix. How are you doing? Try not to get down low because I know Chester's going to jump on my back. He did that to uh, Desiree today. Hi, Chester. <laughs> I'm trying to get away from you. Hi, guys. Isn't this sweet? All curled up together. Camille yeah, sleeps with everybody. She's a friendly girl. She sleeps with everybody. You find these guys cuddled up together all the time. You're not right where you are. She's a good cuddle buddy. Yeah. You don't have to get up and leave. It's okay. It's okay. No, you don't have to leave. They just want to see you. Yeah, well, there's no Stephanie's arm to get on. So, <laughs> hey, Miss Greta. Oh, it's dark out here. Lights are on. Hi, hey, Oreo. Hi, Meow Meow. Hi, honey. Hi. Heard your name. Didn't you? Hi, Skittle. I'm being mobbed. Here comes old man Felix. What? What? Tell me about it. What's the problem? Yeah, you think so? Gracious. Gracious. All this need going on. <laughs> You're killing me. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, look at you. Brother, you just need that sort of death. You are scratching me to death. I am a human host. I guess your nails are trimmed. Hi, Katie. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Puppy. Hi, Poppy. What are you doing, Poppy? Go, Poppy. Go, Poppy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Look at you. Who's hiding up here? Yo, JB. Hi. Sorry. Didn't mean to throw you. Peanut. No, jelly bean. <laughs> Sorry. What are you doing? You need to get him to sleep. I stopped sleeping. Uh, Cheryl talked to Gina about the t-shirts. She does. Now we put them in our cafe press store. Carrot. Hey, dude. For you guys that worry about the cats being in these, these eggs, there's a hole right there. There's actually several. There's another one on the bottom, so if they flip it, the hole will be at the top. Hey, don't care, right? I would pet you, but I'm trying to keep Chester out of the camera. I wish Cheryl can get pictures. Hope you got that screenshot, kid. Look at you. The peanut. The peanut. Pebble. Hey, Pebble. 
Oh, Poppy. Making it hard for peanut uh, for Cheryl to get these screenshots. Hope you're getting them there, Cheryl, because I am having a devil of a time holding this camera because I'm getting banged by cats. Watch. I don't want that in. Turn around. Here. There you go, Chester. Chester. Come on, Chester. Hi, Poppy. Honey. Honey. Hi, Ella. Hi, Ella. What y'all don't see is I'm being mobbed here. Getting mobbed like crazy. You guys belong to the friends of the BCR. You'll see that Cheryl takes tons of screenshots during the tours. You'll see, oh yeah, I've got cats climbing on top of me. Felix, yo, Felix. I'm right here. <laughs> Try to just face me. You'll see that Cheryl posts tons and tons of pictures of the cats from tours. But right now, this is what I am dealing with. It is Poppy, all over me. So, you guys, thank you very much for watching. Please come back for our 10 o'clock tour. Grab that one, Cheryl. Grab this one for me, Cheryl, and send it to me too, please. And this one, Cheryl, that one too. I need the ones without eating. I want you guys to see where your donations go. Hey, Miss Meal Meal. Hi, sweet girl. You guys, please come back for our 10 o'clock tour. Chris will introduce you to all the cats. Um, thank you very, very much for all that you do for us, for all the cats. Take that one out, Cheryl. How's that for a shot? You guys, they keep giving me good shots for you. Here. Hi. No, I don't want you to get up. I just want you to look. <laughs> you guys, thank you very much for watching. Come back at 10 o'clock, watch our tour. Visit our website, blindcatrescue.com. And thank you for all that you do for the cats. Good night, guys.